Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be building and taking a look at a full AMD build for this point in time during the circuit breaker where everyone is stuck at home. This is a build that can work and easily run your games in high quality after you're done with work. Let's get this underway with the parts list. For the CPU, we have the Ryzen 5 3600, an all-around CPU that is one of the best value CPUs out now with 6 cores and 12 threads. Pairing this with the Aorus B450M Elite motherboard, which is a micro ATX board. GPU, we're going with the Gigabyte AMD Radeon RX 5600 XT 6G, which we'll be testing the performance later on, but it should be pretty good from what I've seen. The HyperX 2x8GB RAM DDR4, 3600MHz, so 16GB altogether is what I have here. A 256GB GB SSD for the OS and important programs. Definitely need an extra HDD, but I didn't get one, but you should if you're planning on storing videos, games, etc. on that. The CPU cooler, instead of the Rave cooler that comes with the 3600, which would actually be fine, but I went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition just for some extra aesthetics and I really wanted to test its performance. Power supply, we have the Cooler Master V650W, gold fully modular power supply which is more than enough to power all the components and being modular, ease of building and cable management come into play. Lastly for parts, we have the Cooler Master NR600 case where all of these components are going in and I like this case for this build, reason being it is not supposed to be an over the top gaming rig but a working slash gaming build. There's a separate compartment for the PSU and plenty of cable pass throughs for all the cables so it will make things a lot easier. Now some b-roll for the build.
Let's get on to the benchmark starting with Cinebench R20, the multi-core CPU score at 3474 points and single-core CPU score at 461 points. Geekbench with a multi-core score of 6621 and single-core at 1171. For overall performance using PC Mark 10, the score is 7484 with Essentials scoring 9585, Productivity at 7361, Digital Content Creation at 7794, and Gaming at 15422. 3D Mark Time Spy, there's a score of 7319 with the CPU scoring 7430 and CPU at 6749. Meanwhile, in 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme, which is for 4K gaming, 3,247 with the graphics score at 3,369 and CPU at 3,233. For PUBG, with all the settings on Ultra, average FPS is about 80 to 90 plus and even when the background renders a lot of graphics in, it never drops below 60 FPS. Moving on to stress testing, these were all done in a non-aircon environment to simulate real life working from home as much as possible. I left it for about 1.5 hours in ADA64. It was stable all the way with the maximum temps hitting 87 degrees Celsius which was very rare and the temps average about the 75 to 76 degrees Celsius mark. Full mark running for 30 minutes, it got 2529 points with the temperatures averaging out about 70 degrees Celsius with the max GPU temperature hitting 72 degrees Celsius. In the Final Fantasy 15 benchmark on loop for another 30 minutes, temperatures were averaging in at about 65 degrees Celsius, so it's actually legit not bad. Overall, after looking at the performance and also price, which is about 1200 SGD all in, as long as prices don't change again and price gouging doesn't, well, appear again, I would definitely suggest getting this and all you need to do is add on an extra two extra fans for the top and a larger HDD from WD or Toshiba which would run you an extra 100 or so and this would be perfect. To be honest, I didn't expect it to perform quite as well as it did just because it's AMD but they've really set up their game and I definitely recommend this as a mid-end build. So yeah, if you want to build your own AMD PC, this is to me a value build. You're getting high 1080p gaming, it can even run 1440p gaming and it'll definitely be able to crush any workloads that you need to deal with. And yeah, that's it from me. Remember to like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay healthy and ciao!